Okay, I'm gonna make a really fast video. I have a couple upcoming camping trips and I need some extra storage in the back of the Forerunner. I'm gonna make a platform out of three quarter inch plywood. Okay, so my measurements are 48 inches across. I want it to be able to fit in without having to tip it. And I want it to sit below the trunk cover, which the bottom sits at about 14 and a half inches. And at that height, we have 36 inches to the tailgate. So 36 back, 48 wide, and we'll do 15 or so tall to be under that cover. Okay, this piece is 48 inches wide by 36 inches deep. I'm going to mark off two lines on here. Um, so that my supports go inside of the wheel wells. For me, that's 35 inches, and that's because I have a custom weather mat back there that actually cuts in a few extra inches. So if you're in a third gen forerunner, uh, you may be able to go slightly wider. Okay, and here I've got my three foot long by 15 inch high supports for the bottom. I'm gonna go along the top of each of these and drill pocket holes to screw into the top piece. Repeat for the second side. Okay, we've got all the screws driven in. It is pretty sturdy. So we'll put it in and uh, mark our points for our tie downs. All right, so I just have these 10 inch turnbuckles and the plan is to hook that into here as well as up here and then we can tighten those down. So I'm just gonna mark off an area here that I can mount this to. And we'll do that on all four corners. All right, I have the anchor points mounted on the four corners to hold it down to the vehicle. Now I'm gonna do four on the top here. So we'll give you guys a look at the way the lights are set up here on this storage system. So I put one under the left side. This is an under counter, under cabinet light that has a built-in battery, so it recharges off USB. I have the same one over on the right side. These do have an automatic mode where uh, motion will turn it on. We'll see how that ends up going. In the main part, obviously you can see we've got strip lighting that's powered by USB. And currently that's just powered off a battery bank. Any USB will do on that. So thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you guys find this useful. And if you wanna build something in your own truck, you can do that as well. And of course, up top, we have our regular vehicle light to uh, finish off the top. So thanks for watching.